create 3D objects and animations. How to create 3D objects and animations? Create 3D objects from 2D images. By the way, Photoshop can build a variety of basic 3D objects using 2D layers as a string point, by the way. And after creating a 3D object, you can move it in 3D space and change render setting and add lighting or merge it with other 3D layers, by the way. <coughs> and you should convert 2D layers into 3D postcards and plants with 3D properties. If you if your starting layer is a text layer and any transparency is returned and after that wrap a 2D layer around a 3D object such as a cone or cube or, or cylinder and after that create a 3D mesh from the grey scale information in a 2D image and after that simulate a metal working, metal working technique called rebush by extruding a 2D object in 3D space and you should see create 3D rebush here now and after that build a 3D volume from a multi-frame file such as a DICOM, DICOM, medical imaging file and Photoshop combines the individual slices by the way of the file into a 3D object that you can manipulate in 3D space and view from any angle and you can also apply various 3D volume render effects to optimize the display of various materials in the scam such as pawn, pawn or soft tissues tissue how to create how to create a 3d postcard how to create a 3d postcard in photoshop by the way you can add a 3d postcard to an existing 3d scam to create a surface that displays shadows and reflections from other objects in the scam we have steps step number one should open a to-do image firstly and then select the layer you want to convert to a postcard step number two should to choose 3d and choose new 3d postcard from layer and after that the 2d layer is converted by the way to a 3d layer in the layers panel and the 2d layer, the 2D layer content is applied as a material to both sides of the postcard and after that, the original 2D layer appears in the layers panel, by the way, as a diffuse texture map for the 3D postcard object. And you should see the 3D panel overview. And after that, the 3D layer retains the dimensions of the original 2D image. And step number 3, optional again, to add the 3D postcard as a surface plan to a 3D scan. You should merge the new 3D layer with an existing 3D layer containing other, la other 3D objects and then align it as necessary. Step number 4. To retain the new 3D content, you should export the 3D layer in a 3D file format or save it in BSD format. How to create 3D chips? How to create a 3D chips? By the way, depending on the object type you choose, the resulting 3D model can contain, by the way, one or more meshes and the spherical panorama, option maps, a panoramic image inside a 3D sphere, by the way. We have steps again. Step number one. You should open a 2D image firstly and then select the layer that you want to convert to a 3D chip. And step number two. You should choose 3D, then select a new chip from layer and then select a chip from the menu. And the shapes include by the way single mesh, objects like a dot or a sphere or a hat as well as multiple mesh objects such as a cone or cube or a cylinder or a soda cam or a wine bottle. Note here please and be careful. By the way you can add your own custom chips to the chip menu and the shapes are co are collada. Dot D A E and the 3D model files by the way to add a chip place the Colada model file in the presets and the meshes folder inside, inside the Photoshop program, program folder by the way. And after that the 2D layer is converted actually to a 3D layer in the layers panel. And after that the original 2D layer appears in the layers panel as a diffuse texture map. And it may be used by the way on one or more surfaces of the new 3D object. And other surfaces may be assigned a default diffuse texture map with a default color setting. And you should to see the 3D panel overview by the way. Step number 3. Optional again. You can't use the spherical panorama option if you are using a panoramic image as your 2D input. 
this option by the way converters are complete 300 custom multiply 180 degree spherical panorama to a 3d layer and once you convert it to a 3d object you can also paint areas of the panorama that are typically difficult to reach such as the police or areas containing straight lines for information on creating a 2d panorama by stitching image images together you should to see create 300 custom degree panoramas step number four Export the 3D layer in a 3D file format or save in BSD format to retain the new 3D content. How to create a 3D mesh? By the way, the new mesh from grayscale command converts a grayscale image into a deep a deep map and which translates lightness values into a surface of varying deeps and lighter values create raised areas in the surface and darker values create lower areas and photoshop then applies the deeps by the way map to one or of four possible Ge ge geometrics geometrics to create a 3d model and we have steps step number one you should open a 2d image firstly and then select one or more layers that you want to convert to a 3d mesh Step number two, convert the image to grayscale mode and you have to choose image then choose mate. Then select grayscale or use image and then select adjustment and select black and white to fine tune the grayscale conversion. Note here please and be careful. If you use an RGB image as input when creating a mesh, the green channel by the way is used to generate the deep sea map. Step number three, make adjustments to the grayscale image if necessary to limit the range of lightness values step number four choose 3d then choose a new mesh from grayscale and then select a mesh option and you have options here now the first option plan plan is meaning that applies deeps map data to a planner surface the second option two-sided plan is meaning that creates two plans reflected along a central axis and applies deeps map data to both plans the third option Slender is meaning that applies deep map data outward from the center of a vertical axis. The fourth option uh, the, the fourth the fourth option sphere is meaning applies deep map data readily radially outward from a center point. And by the way, Photoshop creates a 3D player containing the new mesh and it also creates diffuse and opacity and blender deeps map texture maps for the 3D object and using the original grayscale or color layer and by the way you can reopen the blender deeps map as a smart object at any time and edit it and when you save it the mesh by the way is regenerated and not here please now the opacity texture map doesn't appear by the way in the layers panel and because that map uses the same texture file as the diffuse map and the original 2d layer when two texture maps reference the same file and the file appears only once in the layers panel by the way how to create 3d animations how to create 3d animations by the way using the photoshop animation timeline you can create 3D animations that move a 3D model through space and changing and change the way it displays over time. And by the way, you can animate any of the following properties of a 3D layer, like 3D object or camera position. You can use the 3D position or camera tools to move the model or 3D camera over time. And by the way, Photoshop can twin frames between position or camera movements to create smooth motion effects and a 3d render setting change render modes with the ability to twin transitions between some render modes for example a change vertex mode gradually to wireframe frame over time and to simulate the sketching in of a model's structure and after that 3d cross 3d cross section rotate an intersecting intersecting plane to display a changing cross section over time and change across section setting between frames to highlight different model areas during an animation. For high quality animations, by the way, you can render each animation frame using the render for final output render setting. And you have to see change rendering effects, by the way.